guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is adriana if this is your first time here hi it is very nice to meet you so in today's video i am bringing you along with me to get things put together so that we can send out the notary commission packet which i'm in la county if you didn't know that but if you're also in la county it is closed the offices are closed so you're not going to be able to go in and file your bond and do your oath of office so what we have to do is we have to get a piece of mail ready which i'm going to go to the store and look for just like a plain manila folder like this um and then we're going to get some copies at fedex we need to um I'm gonna show you right now. I'm gonna type it out on my phone and then I'll just print it at FedEx. So we're gonna type up this letter that we need in order to receive a conformed copy of our bond so that it works as a confirmation that the state of California actually filed it. So we're gonna be typing that up because it is required in order for you to put it in the packet together that you're sending. There's this whole list that we need to do. This right here. It's a lot, but it's okay. We're getting through it step by step. So come with me. Let's go to FedEx. Let's go. Um, I also need to find a notary in LA County to notarize the oath of office form. So that's gonna be cool. And it also gives me a chance to network and, you know, just build really really good business relationships with other notaries around me so right now i'm gonna hop online search for a notary around me i'm gonna go get it notarized and then i'm gonna go to fedex oh no 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 and then i'm gonna go to get my supplies ready and then i'll go to fedex to print out that um the letter that i have to write out and to get copies and then i'll put it all together and mail it out so it's gonna be fun um what we're going to, okay okay so what we're going to get at the store is a manila folder because i want all the paperwork to just be able to stand straight and not have to be folded so we're going to get a manila folder we are going to get a we're going to have to get like something like you know just like a regular envelope and then put a stamp on here and that's where they're going to insert the conformed copy of your bond and they'll mail they're going to mail it back to you to let you know that everything was filed and you're good to go so because they do keep your bond um i believe they keep the copy of the bond or I'm not too sure if they send you a copy of the bond, but we're going to see. So, because you have to send them the original and a copy. So all of those things you're going to see me do, but yeah, the supplies, a manila folder or right, a manila envelope. I think that's what it is. And a, okay, so supplies, manila envelope and a blank sealed or stamped envelope so not don't put your notary stamp on there it has to be like a regular you know mail out stamp so um what else do you need copies of your bond a copy of your commission and you need to oh i need the filing fees as well so we're going to need a i believe it's a check or a money order Okay, so I'm not too sure if it's a check or a money order, but we're going to uh, double check that <laughs> and make sure we have all of that information. Let me see if this is going to help a little bit because this lighting is just not. All right, so hopefully this looks better. It probably looks a little too light. Okay, so. Hmm. Okay, let's work with it. Okay, so yeah, we're going to go get the supplies, that envelope, the self-sealed, um, the right the self oh no no no! it's a self-addressed stamped envelope so make sure that your address is on there but i'm going to show you how to do all that and then we also need to get our filing fees so the filing fees i believe let me just double check this is only for la county okay so don't don't come at me for any other one because oc is different and um i'm pretty sure every county is going to be different so la county 
The registration fee, which includes the clerk's fee and a filing fee, is $23. The bond recording fee is $20. And if you have um, additional pages on the bond, then it'll be $3 per page for additional pages. So for me, I only have one page to my bond. So it'll be $43 total. That's the registration fee and the bond recording fee. Um, this is it right here. You can see that. Can you see that good? Hmm. I'll show you guys this. Um, okay, so it looks like that. Yeah. These are the fees. But I'll leave this um, for you guys. And um, I'm not too sure if I have to send this out. Let me read the instructions. And I'll let you know if it's check or money order. I'm gonna find you. I'm gonna get you, get you, get you, get you. One way. Okay, so let's go get a money order. We're gonna make this out to Los Angeles County Clerk. Um. Okay. So the money order is for forty-three dollars. I think. Yeah. There's only one page to my bond. So this is the bond, but if you were to have like another page of this, then it's an additional $3 for each page. The first page is 20 and then each one is 3 And then the registration fee um, is 23 So 23 20 43 20 $43 money order. I have to write this down because then I, I end up forgetting. So money order. Oh, this is a bad pen. I have a thing full of pens and yet none of my pens work. So money order. Okay, I'm gonna give you guys a huge tip right now. Don't go and get a cashier's check from your bank. They charge, I didn't know, well maybe Bank of America. I don't know about other banks. But Bank of America charged me an extra 15 to just get a check, a blank check. And that was when I was taking my my notary exam. Um, you, you know, you have to go in the first time with a 40, uh, $40 check. So I did a cashier's check. And so they charged me 55 for it instead of just the 40 And I should have gotten the money order. And I thought the money order, there was going to be a bigger fee for it. And there's no fee for a money order. Let's get that money order. Let's get the supplies. Let's go to a notary. <laughs> and then we're going to come back and... Um, we're going to get everything ready because we're also going to go to FedEx and get copies of things. If you have a printer and a copy and a scanner at home, then obviously you don't have to do that part. Um, but yeah, that's what we're doing. That's where we're going. So let's go. Holding. Hey guys, so we got the... If you'd like to hang up while maintaining your spot in the queue, press 1 to receive a call back. Did you know that Viber provides coverage for workers' compensation? Okay, so we got our oath of office notarized. I got both of them notarized. So I'm going to go get the manila envelope and the blank uh, envelope. Oh, I have to go get a stamp before the post office closes. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go get a stamp before the the post office closes. Say hi, Roman. Hi, Roman. <laughs> He's like, get me out of the camera. Um. So yeah, I'm gonna go do that real quick before they close the post office, so I could just send. I want to send this out next day air <laughs> or next day ground. I'm not too sure. No, maybe not air. The next day ground. Um, Thanks for holding. Please continue to hold. While we find I wanted to get there fast. If you'd like to hang up, well, so yeah, let's go get this stamp real quick before they close. Okay, so I got the stamp. It was 55 cents at the post office. Um, and then right now I'm at Dollar Tree. So I'm gonna go get the manila envelope 
and I'm gonna get the um, blank envelope I'm gonna put my address on there and my name so that they can mail back the con conformed copy of the bond to confirm filing of my notary commission so that's what we're doing it's a lot of steps for sure but it's different if you file it in person like you're really lucky because you don't have to do all of these steps um and i have a kid with me so who keeps taking off his shoes man why you taking off your shoes roman why you taking off your shoes okay let's go get the stuff okay so we got our bond from the National Notary Association today. Association. Let's open this up and see. Oh. So it looks like this. And I'm going to show you in another video how to get these um, things sent out. Alright you guys, so let me just go over the things that you need to get ready. You're going to need one of these. It's just a simple little manila envelope. And then let me show you what's in here. I want to make sure I have everything before I send it out. Okay. You are going to need, and we can go over the list so that we do this correctly. This is um, the list of things that we need to get done. And I'm going to have this listed below for you guys so that, you know, you're not lost. But I really do highly recommend once you get your packet, take this piece of paper out, this one, and check off as you go um make a list like okay i'm gonna have to do this 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 and this so that you don't lose track and you, you're you know stay organized because you have to do things in a specific way if you're mailing it out if you're not going to mail things out you're you're extremely lucky um <laughs> the this is like a lot of steps to do to get things finalized and i know if if it wasn't for, you know, things still being shut down, it would have worked out better. But yeah, if you don't have to deal with this, you're you're very lucky. Just go and file that into the county clerk's office and you're ready to go. So do that ASAP. Okay, back to this. Here's what we're gonna need. You're gonna take the following with you to a notary public and it has to be a notary public in the county where you are going to file your oath of office. And I need to tell you this, your oath of office can only be filed where the county is. Whatever, wait, can you see that? Whatever county you put on there, that's where you have to go. So I'm just, you know, just trying to let you know. Um, I put LA County, so that's where I have to file it. So you're going to take your two oath of office forms, unsigned, take them to a notary, and they're going to do this. These are the two. I wanna make sure like my address and stuff is not showing everywhere. Okay, so. These are the two oath of office forms. They look like this, okay? You're gonna take them to a notary, both of them. You're gonna get two, take both of them to a notary in your county. They're gonna notarize it. Once they notarize it, and she did add this, um, uh, Jurat, this, okay? Um, she attached it to this, so I got two of these. All right. This cost me 15 per notarization, which, I mean, we know that, right? $30 flat, so that's $30 right here, and I got this done at a local um, UPS store that has notary services. So, 
we have these two things and then it says you're going to need um, a photocopy of your notary public commission which I do I have the official one behind this camera and this is just the copy so this is the copy okay you're gonna need the original bond signed by you as the principal um, and if it's not signed it will get rejected so let me just cover this up right here I don't want my address to show you're gonna need your um okay hopefully this works like this but this is your bond okay hold on okay all right so this is your copy of the bond and then this is the original bond you're gonna need to send in both of these okay the original and the copy and obviously you can tell which one is the original because it's you know signed I don't know can you see that it's blue ink and it didn't say whether it had it had to be blue ink or black ink but I signed in black ink it doesn't say yeah it doesn't say um, this cost me $38 and I got this from the NNA website this is a $15,000 bond for four years, which will run for the rest of my commission um, period. So um, what else do we need? Okay, two oath of office forms originally signed by you and the notary public who administered. We got that. You are going to need your filing fees. The filing fees, um, I'm posting them up right here right now. Depending on if your bond, ha right, this piece of paper, this bond right here, I don't want to show my address. <laughs> Depending on if this has one or two or three pages, I'm not too sure how other companies are going to be, but I only have one page. So this one page, that's the fee for it, okay? If you have additional pages, make sure you account for that before you actually do the payment. And this is um, what I recommend. I recommend that you get a money order don't go to the bank and get a check bank of america charges you an extra 15 dollars for a check a blank check and you know they they have your like address and name on here and all this whatever but they charge you 15 dollars for that so let's not do that on this we're gonna go ahead and write pay to the order of um la county so let me go ahead and write that right now before i forget let's drink some coffee what do you guys like to drink from Starbucks? Or do you um do you guys prefer coffee bean? I like coffee bean too. I also heard um from a friend of mine uh and also my sister-in-law. Um Vietnamese coffee is it? I think it's super strong. So this has to be paid out to the LA County. Um, where does it say? Where does it say? I had it in one of these. Where does it say? Okay. Let's see. I think it has it. I think it has it. Los Angeles County Clerk. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. Make sure you save your little uh, money order thing and you know also account for this for your, on your expenses of course so we have our money order okay um and make sure it's the right amount and also i forgot to tell you this for this part here put your name address and phone number on your bond top left hand corner name address phone number and then make the copy of it okay just want to let you know that okay so we have that now you're going to need a self-addressed stamped envelope and this is what they mean by it this an envelope stamped and you put your address here because they're going to use this envelope to return a conformed copy of the bond to confirm filing and basically um 
you have to write a letter and this is the letter name address phone number dear secretary of state this letter is to request a conformed copy of the bond for confirmation of filing i've included a self-addressed stamped envelope to use for my copy thank you for your time adriana torres and that's it that's that's it print this out and send it so they're going to keep one copy of the bond and you are going to get another one and that's going to be a conformed copy of the bond to confirm with you that's your confirmation that it has been filed so they're not going to send you anything like an email telling you that oh you're good to go their way of telling you you're good to go is you're going to get this back you're going to get sorry you're going to get this back in the mail and it's going to have your copy of the bond and that's your sign that you're good to go you can go out and start doing your work well, be sure that you have your phone number on there because it does say on here um they would like a phone number just in case they have any questions and they need to reach out to you directly um because if you miss even just like one little you know specification that they asked for you're going to have it rejected the bond top left hand corner name address phone number make sure that your fees are correct don't go over or under the amount if you have uh, multiple pages for your bond account for that and um you know do your math right <laughs> being serious because sometimes you know you're doing things so fast that you you forget basic math okay um it happens to us we're you know we're human so take it slow and then this is such a great idea go go through it and check off start to check off like okay i did that i did that i did that got it and then once you see a check mark on everything you're good to go so we are going to go to i'm taking this over to fedex and i'm going to have them um overnight or i don't know if i should have like depending on the price i'll let you guys know if i did overnight today or whatever but i'm doing express because i don't want it to take too long to get there and then i don't want them to take too long to file it i got my e and o insurance policy to start on july 1st so that's really when I'm anticipating to be set to go. Like July 1st, I need to be signing up with signing services and I need to start. Um, I really want, my plan is this. I want to get, hmm, I want to say like four, maybe five signings under my belt first. Like I, I want that, you know, on my resume. <laughs> um before i go direct before i go directly into escrow offices and title companies and all this um you know like to get direct business i do want to become familiar with it through signing services plus i also also want to get the feel of working with the signing service we're gonna go to fedex right now and hmm. she's danish Look at this, you guys. We're almost there. Almost there. I surround my soul with the positivity. That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see.